I already know who you are. Do you? Yeah. Recognize go your voice. Go on then. The YouTube guy. What's the name? DJ Audits, is it? Oh, wow. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Ibstock PLC, Ibstock Brick and Forty Crete. So this road doesn't look a private road. Oh, it does say no public right of way. Right, no public right of way. So is there any visitors welcome here? All visitors to site, please report to main reception straight down there. So it's not a, a walk through where the public can just walk their dog, but they have got a visitor's reception. Images are being recorded, reverse parking. Yeah, so all visitors, please report to main reception. So <clears throat> let's go and find it, shall we? Main reception. So we have a separate factory here, a Seberstone factory. Not sure what they're doing there. But we have some sort of gatehouse here. And a vehicle that carries the bricks with the, the grab arm on there. I wonder what's in that bit. Looks like a notice board over there. And is it a fishing pond or something? No public right of way. Persons using this land do so at their own risk. Lake is closed on the following Wednesdays and Sundays. Ibstock brick pond rules. So it is the, the company's own fishing pond. And what have they done down here? Taped up some sort of step over of the fence. They have got a name, haven't they? What are they called? It's not coming to me, the name of that. <laughs> I'm sure all you lot know in the comments. On, mate. Yeah, where's reception, mate? Main reception? Yeah. It's just the first building down here on your left. All oh, right, okay. I'm just going to go down there and tell them what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to fly a drone over and get some aerial photography of the site. Okay. You see? So just to, just to put on my YouTube channel. All right, mate. So yeah. just tell them down there and then... Uh... You'll have to do it from the main road though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but that's, that's fine. Yeah. Nothing. I already know who you are. Do you? Yeah. Recognise your voice. Go on then. The YouTube guy. What's the name? DJ Audits, is it? Oh, wow. Do you know what? Anybody that does know who I am, I give them a key ring. Yeah. So I've got to give you a key ring now. Do you want it? There you go. So you've seen it before. You went down to the mushroom place. Yeah. For the month, didn't you? And they took the signs down, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Just because it said open to the public. Yeah. They didn't want no public on there. Yeah. No, what it is, so there's a public footpath that runs through. Runs through where? It goes across the field. Okay. And in the corner. And then that leads round through and pop comes out down the road towards Ellis Town. Okay. So the front side is open to the public but there's no public uh, right away on the footpath when you come down from the main entrance. Right. So it's like they can come down on the path, but really anything past this barrier is all just solid hip stock. Okay, mate, yeah, yeah. So if, well, you, so if you're on the field with your drone and stuff, yeah. it's all... This footpath, you say, that runs through the site, does it go through where the bricks are stored? No. Okay. I want to get as close to the bricks as possible for the footage. So where would the best place be for that? 
I'd be probably best ask them at reception. I'm not 100% sure where they keep exactly what. Right. There's multiple different factories. Right. And like some of them are kilns, some of them are like the finishing process, and I don't know exactly which one. Right, okay. Have you been all around the site yourself though in the years that you've been here? I've been here about eight months. Oh, right, okay. Um, went round on my induction, but then part of my job is I have to be here for like my entirety of my shift. Right, okay. Um, everything that side, unless it's like an emergency, yeah. it's not from really doing yeah. me. And it's quite a, a pretty quiet location, isn't it? You're not going to yeah. get much uh, issues here, I wouldn't have thought. No. no not and it's bricks, you know what I mean? It's not TVs or phones or laptops. No. <laughs> you need a pretty hefty vehicle to come and mix up with this stuff, don't you? Yeah. yeah. That's, well, that's why they've got this here, because a few years back they had issues, issues with and stuff. Right, just arriving with the vehicles, picking them up and going. Okay, yeah. so you're here to protect that, are you? Yeah, it's just mainly to keep an eye who's coming in, who's leaving. Yeah. You yeah. know, if they're supposed to be here and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, reception's first building on your left. If you head down there and have a chat with them, yeah. they'll be able to help you more with exactly. Yeah, they may even say, oh, we know who you are. Come on, we'll show you around. We'll walk you around the whole site. That's Mate. Hey, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, mate, I'll go and tell them. All thank right, you. Mate, cheers, thank you. What was your name? Zach. Zach? Yes. Nice to meet you, Zach. Yeah, thank you. Wow. What a difference it makes when they know who you are. All right, pedestrian walkway. So I am on my bike here, so maybe I should get off it. <laughs> but there's nobody around, is there? So. Let's just go down nice and quick. Main reception to the left. We're filming this solely on the GoPro so far because we are on the bike and it is a little bit more difficult holding the camera and the bike. So here we go, main reception. Let's leave the bike there. I'm going to let them know what we're doing. No handshakes. <laughs> That's a new one, look. No handshakes. Cough or sneeze into the crease of the elbow or in a tissue. Wow. Hi. I just make um, YouTube videos. And I'm just going to make a little video about this place today, but I will do it from the outside, from the road. Right. But I'm only letting you know because I fly a drone over, over the site, just to get some aerial photography. So if anybody saw me or what's he doing out there or starts to worry well, or panic. You're on that Facebook, aren't you? Yeah, that's me, what's yeah. What's your name? DJ. That's it, yeah, because our Gary's been telling me I'll about just, it. I'll just let IT know for security. Do you mind just hanging on? Sure, sure. Yeah, you've seen the videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. People say you can't come on our land, and you go, yes, I can. Yeah, well, I can come on just to let you know what I'm doing, yeah. but then I, I must return back to the public bit. Yeah. You can't really stay on their land too long if they don't want you there. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Now you're going to be, you're going to be in one of the videos. <laughs> <laughs> say hello, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> is that your husband's name? It's Gary, yeah, is it? Gary, my son, he does health and safety up at Fort Creed. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So I, I'll hover over there, see if I can find him. <laughs> Does he wear a high vis? Yeah. Right, okay. I just spoke to the security guard as well. He, he's also a viewer. Yeah. He knows the channel. So, yeah, he knows it. Yeah. We wondered when you'd be around. Well, do you know what? Because you're a viewer, you actually get a key ring. Oh. So you can give that to your son. Yeah. Yeah, he'll like that. Ah. Oh. I'm going to send it to him. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. And you. Oh, I like this place. What we got? Building belonging. So they're supporting local charities as well. Oh, oh a little. Got some coffee. Oh. Just got the let IT know because of all the things on site where you can go and where you can't go. Right. Okay. But they'll they'll be out in a second. So if you just help yourself to a coffee. All right. Lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, you just press the button, do you? The cappuccino. Oh yes. Start now. That's brilliant, isn't it? All controlled with the iPad. You just put your cup under there. And it's called a, a top brewer. 
little HGV models of the Ibstock fleet. You've got sites all over the UK, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Is this one of the biggest? This is the head office. Right. Were quite hot on health and safety, so we want to make sure you know where you come in. Yeah, good, yeah. That's great. <coughs> if you're wandering around. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're all right. Hi, yeah. So my name's DJ. I've just uh, got a YouTube channel. Yeah. And I go to interesting sites just to okay. do a video to put on my YouTube channel. Yeah. I normally do stay outside on the public footpath when yeah. I do the video, so I'm not in your way or health and safety risk That's or anything fine. like that. Yeah. But I do take the drone over, you see. And sometimes a drone going over the site sometimes panics people. Okay. And they start reporting it to people. That's no, not a problem. If you if you want to go, I mean, we can go back out. Obviously, I know you can go from the path, yeah? If you go over then, if you... Um, Take the number from the gate. If you've got a problem, it comes through to reception. If anything happens and it drops out of sight, yeah, we know it's there. There's not a problem. There's probably some good views from over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm open yeah. to so get yeah, some yeah. Feel, feel free to do that from the road, yeah. And if yeah. you do, give us a call and we'll be able to access it. Well, I'm going to do it now, you see. So yeah, if anybody on. reports in the next 20 minutes, if anybody reports all, anything, it's only me, I'm just letting but if you, you know. do, if it, if it happens to lose or anything comes down, but obviously we've got a lot of quarry kit down yeah. there, so. It won't, because yeah. it, it's such a high-tech, modern one. Yeah, it will on. return to home and everything. Absolutely fantastic. Mate. Thank you. you Thank you on. so much. Thank you. Cheers, right. Wow, that was amazing. Got a free coffee. He said, yeah, no problem at all. That is what I like to see. So let's get back out to that public footpath and see what this place looks like from above, eh? Ooh. I'm loving this cappuccino. So as we walk out, we'll have a quick scout around. We can see some bricks down in the distance down there. And the vehicle that just came in, empty at the minute, XPO Logistics dispatch. So they must be uh, Sorry, controlling the fleet, the organization of what goes and when it goes. <laughs> Got a little bit of a storage yard up there to the left as well. And somebody's strapping down his load in the Evans tractor unit. Every single staff vehicle that we can see in the car park is reverse parked in, as it says on the sign. So top marks so far for Ibstock. And they've even got a sight speed limit, look, 15 miles an hour with the cameras giving them their reading. So, shall we have a look at how fast this vehicle's going? Oh, this is a slow one. And Biffa's on his way down, so they're not going to go fast either. But will Biffa let me cross? Let's see. Biff is going nice and slow, thinking that I'm just standing here, which is fair enough. But we want to cross, don't we? Just like they're ducks. <laughs> slow, ducks crossing. Zach, have you got a bin in there? Yeah, I've got one going around here, mate. That coffee machine's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. On the iPad? Yeah. Um, do you think where my bike is there? I can take the drone up from there. Is that public bit? Uh, no. What I meant was, well, from like the entrance. Right, okay, right. Because these yeah. houses then, are they? The, they used to be owned by an old couple. Right. Um, it was, well, when the site first started, Yeah. they used to work here. Oh, right. But then obviously they've both passed away since, and I do believe Ipstock have brought, wow. brought the houses with the intention, I do believe, to build uh, a new reception building. Wow, yeah. In Makes sense, doesn't it? In its place, so. So really then you have, there's no reason for any other member of the public to come down this road, apart from to access your site. So yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I'll go even further then, mate. I'll yeah, go yeah. right to the front. A, like I said, there's the public footpath, which for them to be able to build what they want to build, they've got to change that for the council. Right. And they're in the process of trying to do that because they can't just uh, like get rid of it. They have to replace it, don't they? So this public footpath that you're on about then, because that's that's where we just turn in. Yeah. So is there a public footpath so, coming down here or something? Yeah, basically it cuts across the field. Right. And it's like goes through the bottom corner. See where it's a bit open. Oh there? yeah. So it goes through these trees. Yeah, and can you see the trail? 
leading around. Right. And then up here. Okay, okay, I got you. So basically it's on that side of the pond, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. Like it, so it, all these trees, it, it runs back, back of these trees and that way. So do you know how you... Towards Ellis Town. You've got like a stile there that you've covered up, haven't you? Does that stop people coming in from the public? This, bit? the one down here? Yeah. Yeah, what that was, it, the, all the wood and, ev wood and everything's rotten, it's overgrown. Right. And because obviously public footpaths are council yeah. not land as such, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. So with it all being overgrown, the, we're waiting for the council to come out and basically make it safe for people to use. So do you know if people are on that public footpath then and they want to come over the stile onto your land? This is the issue because by the public footpath laws, yeah, which is why this is here. Right. So it's just to make sure yeah, okay. people aren't... It's, it's basically, they can come round, but then they're like, so, so come straight over, it's like a case of you walk straight in and out. Yeah, okay, okay, I got you. So it's a right of isn't it? Yes. Okay, okay. So, but if I'm on that side of the style then, you've got no problem. No, okay, I've got you. Nothing, I've got you, mate. Yeah, that'll probably be a good place to do it. Uh, but thank you for your help, mate. I'm going to find a good spot using this. And, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Right. Cheers, pal. Cheers, thank you. So we've come all the way out to the main public footpath now, where we started. Got the bike here, got a nice little spot to take the drone up. Before we do, we'll just tell you a little bit about the place. Ibstock PLC is a market leading manufacturer and partner of choice for innovative clay and concrete building products building the face of Britain for over 200 years. Without any further delay, let's get the drone up, get some good footage of this one, and go from there. So as shown on Drone Assist, we are in open airspace. There are no flight restrictions in this area. So let's go and have a look at what it looks like from above, shall we? We'll just get clear of that overhead power line. There we are. And let's get some height. A little bit higher than them trees. And the site comes into view at 50 meters there, look. So we'll hover around 65 meters. This is the little road, the private road, because they've brought everything down its path. And just around this corner here, we have the gatehouse, the little hot. Just behind that tree, just there. Oh, it's out of focus. Can we focus in on that? Yeah, press the screen, gets you an automatic focus. The lovely pond with the sun blazing off it or glaring off it and a quarry next door. And have we got some machinery moving? Yeah, we've got some machinery moving on that. We'll have a look at the quarry before we bring David back. But back to Ibstock. The site stretches all the way back there. Pallets of brick started around the place, as you would expect. And the neighboring business that they have just there with some solar panels on the roof. Let's get much further over. Let's have a good look around. This is where some steam is coming out the plant. So this is probably where they're doing the manufacturing of the bricks. And that's what we want to see. The sun is on our side, shining straight onto the subject for us. So what sort of machinery can we see? Well, that's parked there and it's got some sort of chute coming out to collect some waste. We've got a conveyor belt that takes from one building down to here. Oh, it's bringing raw materials from where they dump it. So where they fill up the silo or dump it inside this shed here and it will take it up to where it's needed to the manufacturing area 
we have got a vehicle a double coming in so we'll see what he gets up to as well we have also got a forklift how many forks has that got i think it's got about five forks on that so which one is going to do the most interesting thing first eh forklift or vehicle hmm I think the vehicle. Let's follow him. See what he's up to. The surrounding grounds look very nice. Very well kept. I bet a lot of the staff like their fishing. <laughs> if you work here, you can fish for free. So he's following the tracks, spinning himself round up. And the forklift with, yeah, let's see how many forks are on that. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably eight forks. So they get plenty of grab underneath. So there's lots of support. And if I switch to the GoPro, there's a vehicle full of little bricks. <laughs> and it does say Ipstop brick on the packaging. So yeah, look at that. It's grabbed a, a very wide, shall we call them packs? Can't call them pallets, can we? A pack of bricks. Let me know in the comments if there's a, another technical term. The driver is lowering the sides but the forklift has gone on the opposite side, so we should have lowered the other ones first <laughs> because he's now making Mr. Forklift Man wait. What else is going on? Around whilst he lowers his sides. We've got some... Is that byproduct over there? Not too sure what that is. How's he doing? Has he lowered the sides yet? Yeah, he's finally lowered the sides and... Wow, look how wide the pack is. Pretty much covers the whole of the first half in one go. Where's it gone? Oh, did he split it? He decided not to put it all on the front. He dropped it and then moved half of it, or two thirds of it, to the back. So let's have a further look around, see what else we can see. Let's see what's happening down here. So we've got turners blowing off I would say that is cement, bulk powder. They're the cement silos. And let's see how relevant the quarry is to it all. Are they using some of the earth with the cement? Well, oh, they're making the surface nice, aren't they, up here? Like he's finishing that off there. To make it nice and level. But the main part of the quarry is where this beast is off to. And look at the ground that is driving on there, look. Good job it's got the big chunky tires on, that's for sure. And that looks like a beast as well. full of earth is waiting for the other guy to come by you got another one as well on the way so it looks like they're going up there to talk to this guy so this 360 is eating away at the bank and loading it all onto 
these loaders. Wow, they are beasts. Who seem to be then taking it back down. And let's see where they drop it. So they're taking it from the bank of the quarry and dumping it here. And he's using it to make fresh level surface. And there you go, it's finally got something to do. But I bet most of the time, it's just waiting for the next load. Because let's track how far the next load is away. Yeah, a good five minutes away, look. So what might the point of this be then? to start creating some areas with the finished surface. Mm. Anyway, they're also doing something here. Like they're just making big banks of it so that it's easily, more easily accessible for when they need it to make the bricks. Just a guess. So if this is raw material drop-off area and this is manufacturing, then these other areas must be for the other products, like the posts, and the other things that the website have mentioned they make. So let's check on our HGV vehicle, see if he's fully loaded yet, before we get David back. David 2.0. I keep on calling this drone David and people are not too keen because there was only one David and that was the Mini 2. But with this being the Mini 3 now, we need to call him something different. So David, 2.0 or 2.0 <laughs> can't say oh two is a number and zero is a number so it'll be david 2.0 so he's nearly fully loaded now look they know exactly what they're doing they make the vehicles to the correct size or they make the bricks the the pack of bricks to the correct size of the vehicle so that they can fit just the right amount on. So that's how they do it. Let's bring David back. Oh, before we do bring David back, let's get our 360 shot from above. So we'll get to the front of the site. Oh, we've got FedEx just pulling up here. You don't want media. Oh, hello, my friend. Let me give you a key ring. What's your name? Antonio. Oh, it's been so pleased to see you. There you go, mate. All the best, mate. Yeah. I love watching your vids. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, thank you, mate. You going over it for yeah? Just over it now, yeah. <laughs> they were brilliant in there. Cheers, pal. Nice to meet you. There's the FedEx truck look just there. Antonio. Right, let's get this 360 degree shot completed. So that was Ibstock Brick here in Ibstock in Leicestershire. So Zach was brilliant on the gatehouse. The lady was also brilliant on reception and the other bystander there, her son Gary, who works in one of the other buildings, 
he's got a key ring Zach's got a key ring and uh, Antonio there from FedEx <laughs> also got a key ring wow this is brilliant what a difference it makes eh to when they uh, they know who you are so yeah nice and refreshing a lovely visit to Ibstock Brick so if you have enjoyed that video do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one guys bye bye for now